Hi, my name is Leila, and in this video you will get a virtual tour of one of the most exciting and prestigious events in the art world. Venice Biennale is one of the oldest and most exciting events that happens in Venice. Italia. Please stay till the end to see who won the best in show prize. But before we go any further, let me explain that Venice Biennale consists of two parts. Arsenale and Giardini. Giardini is a park in Venice where all countries like uh, England and France showcase their art and uh, Arsenal is the place where younger countries like Madagascar or Ghana show their artists as well. Also this year, Venice Biennale had an exhibition called May You Live an Interesting Time when 79 artists had to respond to the events we're all facing right now like climate change, a refugee crisis and stuff like that and they had to make art piece in Giardini and an art piece in Artinale that both are corresponding to each other but are quite different. So before further ado, let's jump into that! Belgian pavilion is about to open. The pavilion is turned into a museum of folk art and every single dome carries its own story. For example, in the center we mostly see the artisans, the craftsmen, and this knife grinder, for example, he had a double life. So during the day, he's a proper citizen making the knife. During the night, he's the one killing people. Behind the bars, we see a parallel world. Zombies, poets, psychos, fools, and marginalized people. So the two worlds coexist together and completely unaware of each other. This rat lady only comes when the death is nearby. Now we are walking towards Alva Alto Pavilion. It was a great idea to wear these shoes. Where a diverse group of artists tells the story of Sami people through site-specific sculpture and film, artistically explaining how they live traditionally across Norway, Sweden, Finland and Russia. Now we are going to Israel Pavilion. There we will see a traveling institution that creates a safe space to talk about domestic violence. It looks like a real hospital. You receive a ticket, then you go to the waiting room. There, the artist explains what type of experience to expect. The main idea is to give a voice for those who have none and to reveal the social injustice. First, you go to a soundproof room where you can follow the instructions. One. Then, you watch a video interview with the victim of abuse. So now we are in Russian Pavilion. I'm personally a bit puzzled with the installation, so I will summarize the official statement. Hermitage is one of the first museums to curate a pavilion. Inspired by Rembrandt's Return of Prodigal Son, Sakurov recreated one of the Hermitage's room and his own studio. We are in shared Czech and Slovakian pavilion, where the pioneer of Czechoslovakian avant-garde, Kolibai, presents new and old pieces united by the theme of time and uncertainty. On the opening day, the main pavilion, I believe, had a mess machine installed, so we all were walking in this misty, rainy situation. Since the name of the exhibition was May We Live in Interesting Times, I assume a lot of works would be connected to the theme in Anthropocene. Boy, was I wrong. There are so many different artists talking about completely diverse problems and situations. For example, this Japanese artist photographs herself surrounded by objects she collected, also, she amputated her leg at the age of 9 due to a serious health condition. And this artist prefers to be called a visual activist. She is known for a series of portraits of South African black lesbians. Her work is focused against muting and invisibility. This installation by Turkish artist comments on the refugee crisis for the story of Syria's first cosmonaut who traveled to space with the Soviet team in 87 and now has to seek refuge for himself. This is written in Russian, that means peace. These pieces probably received the most attention from the media. Look at this huge scale! The liquid the machine is collecting looks like blood and splashes all over the place. To be honest, it looks intense. But this is the point. Okay, you're about to witness something truly incredible. A franchise Galliard makes a creature out of fan and video projection. Just look at that. Now we're leaving Giardini to check out Arsenale. There's the first time I'll see El Anatsu. 2019 is a debut year for Kana at Venice Biennale. Anatsu was one of the six artists chosen to represent the country. 
he's a living legend. He was one of the first artists who started using garbage to assemble art pieces. Iceland Weather is the name of interactive installation created in the shape of the Philippine Islands. You're literally walking on the Philippines. Okay, that looks like a bounty commercial that's actually by a Chinese artist. He's trying to combine real ready-mades and the aesthetics, how they're supposed to look like. My personal favorite, Kadirova, creates a fruit tent with the use of tiles. If you've never been to East Europe market, that's exactly how it looks like. Polyester tents and carbon boxes. Those are real post-Soviet Union vibes. This one brings it home for me. Fountain of pickle juice represents complex relationship between two different ethnic groups, Russians and Tatars. Tatars are the minority of Turkic origin. Both live in Russia and maintain independent but interconnected cultures. My father is Tatar and I myself experienced this complexity of relationship when I was living in Russia. Although I'm not sure if pickle juice is the ultimate medium to stand out for interconnection, but you can take a ball home with you. Okay. This piece reminds me of Terminator or Machines vs. Humans. The duo is interested in investigating the act of looking and how the audience reacts to the intimidating spectacles. I've been following Alex de la Corte for a while. He introduces low culture or pop culture into the museum settings. Here, for example, the audience is watching a familiar TV show, but the story is different. The characters don't do what we expect them to do, and this is the game the artist is playing with us. He usually is fully involved in the production. He creates the story, the costume, he also acts in his own creations and the videos. The winner of this year, Jaffa, created an installation for Arsenali. He chose the mining tires as a metaphor to represent generation after slavery. As an African-American himself, he uses everyday objects and found footage to talk about black culture. Anika combines chemistry, cuisine and fragrance to create an immersive experience. For this installation, she was focused on the idea of biologizing the machine or making machinery look and feel human-like. Here, for the viewers to watch the videos, they have to sit on reconstructed gym equipment, which restricts the movements. As you are watching the video, you can also watch other people watching videos, and a person walking by can be watching you, similar to the way I was filming those people. Iceland is represented by shoplifter who uses synthetic hair to create site-specific installation and heavy metal band HAM to accompany the discussion about beauty and grotesque.